Greetings and welcome to RuralVacantLand.com where we have easy, cheap land priced 50 to 80% below the competition. So I've got a lot today in North Carolina. So let's go to Google Earth and I'll show you where we're at. Do a little fly in. There's North Carolina going to Greensboro, just north of Greensboro. The neighborhood got neighbors next door let's keep zooming in so this piece of woods here is is basically the the property it's got trees neighbors take care of their lawns this piece of woods here goes up to Faust Road so there's a 30 foot um, right away through here connected to the property if we look at uh, title on this thing it's uh, um, ingress, regress, and egress for the exclusive use of said lot 102 on over the east easternmost 30 feet of lot 165 of said subdivision beginning at the south margin of the Foss Street continuing in a south southeastward direction 30 feet wide for 173 feet so basically saying you can build a driveway into this property. So if we go to Land Watch, where I like to look for vacant land, I think it's the easiest place to slice and dice vacant land and see what the market is. I put in Greensboro in Guilford County, North Carolina, where this property is. And I sorted by low to high without taking into account the size of the properties. Um, this property is a little bit bigger. The one that I have for sale is a little bit bigger than this. It's like 0.28 acres, I believe, just over a quarter of an acre. And uh, the cheapest in the area is $7,500. There's one at 75, 79, 79. Um, I think those are a little bit smaller ones. This one's a little bit bigger for 10,000. And they start going up from there. They start skipping up pretty fast. But the cheapest anywhere is seventy five hundred dollars, so you can probably guess what I'm asking. I'm always trying to be less than half of the cheapest. I'd like two thousand nine hundred dollars for this property, or one thousand or sorry one hundred dollars down, hundred dollars a month for seventy months. And I'd rather have the cash, but if you want to take the terms, I'd be I'd be happy with the terms if you're willing to pay hundred dollars down, hundred dollars a month for seventy months. So let's look at where this property is in another way. Um, and this software shows the property lines. So here's the, the patch of woods. And in this picture, it almost looks like there's a little building or an outhouse or a shed or something on the property here in the woods. This picture was taken when the leaves weren't on the trees. Um, you might be able to zoom in some more um, to see that. Well, maybe not. But you can kind of see some little building there. I'm not sure if there's a building or not, but it kind of looks like it. it looks like it's casting a shadow. And I believe this uh, um, this strip of woods is is the right of way to get out to Foss Road. So if we go to Google Maps, we put the GPS coordinates in. We get to that same property. So here's the property, and I believe the right of way goes through here. If we turn that into a picture, um, satellite view, Google Earth's got, got the woods. I think you get part of this guy's backyard in the property lines and uh, this strip of woods. Um, if we zoom in some more, we can get a street view. And so this is the woods. I mean, it's, uh, you know, there's trees, it's thick bush. You can put a driveway in there and back to your property. But there's power lines, so there's electricity in the area. I mean, this is a fully developed neighborhood. This is a paved road. Uh, people put their mailboxes out on the side of the road. I mean, it's not rural craziness. I mean, it's, it's all set up and ready to go. Here's a look at the neighbors. I mean, they're actual houses. They're not trailers. They're houses. 
And uh, there's people living in this neighborhood. It's not an abandoned neighborhood with burned down, you know, houses or anything. It's uh, it's all set up and ready to go. So I looked up this area, this town, because I've never been here. I've never been to the property. I've never been to this city. This is Greensboro, North Carolina. So if you know the area and you know this property, you could probably rob me blind because I've never been there. Just pay me and go have fun with the property. I'll be happy that you want it. Um, this, I bought this property as a piece of a bunch of other properties that I was, um, <coughs> excuse me, more interested in. And I got this one that came along with it. So here's here's skylines of the area. And, uh, you know, if you're shopping Greensboro, you probably know this a lot more than I do and where this is in Greensboro. So that address was, uh, I'll put it in the description below as well as GPS coordinates in the description below. And if you're interested in this property or any of the other ones I might have for sale on my website, if you go to ruralvacantland.com and you go to the subscribe tab, I've got an offer going right now. So anyone who signs up to become a member on my website gets $100 off. You could get $100 off of this property just by becoming a member before you buy it or any others along the way. The idea is I would like to present other deals that I have along, you know, into the future to you to see if you're interested in them as well. Um, so if you do that, I'll give you $100 off this one or any of the others you might buy over the rest of 2016. Thank you for listening and hope you're interested in buying this property. It looks like the cheapest one in Greensboro, North Carolina by less than half. Thank you for listening. Oh, and if you want to buy it, my name is Luke Smith. My phone number is 760-274-7711. Thank you.